Today, uh, I would like to share some of the con programming concept uh, that I use in a Joyce bot. What do I mean by Joyce bot? So the Joyce bot have eight servo. These four servo I use in position control mode. They're designed to close the arm. And think of it as an I beam, wooden I beam here. So these servo will close on it. And then these four servo are on wheel mode, so they will run along the servo. Yeah, it is controlled by a 904C here, sitting on top of a 45 EXP. So all the dynamics so are going down to the 485 EXP. So I'm using a full uh, LiPo battery here at 11 volt. And uh, as far as COM port goes, I'm using actually two COM port. COM3 here is the virtual robotics COM port, which is hooked up to the good old micro USB port on the 904C here. The COM10 is going through a USB 2 dynamic so a ZIG2 serial here, and then there's a ZIG100 module here. It's set up to talk directly one to one, as that is, to a 110A module here. And the 110A, we hook up to the uh, 4P in communication port, which is basically serial two, as far as the 904C is concerned. And while we're at it, the 45 AXP that I make so uh, divide it pretty much on serial three. I also use a little near infrared, hollow near infrared sensor, essentially to detect when there's a choice, that's when they start collecting data. Uh, data from what? <clears throat> from uh, an IMU device here, the one that I already gave an example in the uh, Robotus IDE. So let's look at the code a little bit, trying to explain it. Uh, so I'm using the near infrared hollow near infrared sensor here, so that I will include hollow.edge, I have hollow my dot my hollow. All the wire and all this declaration here are pretty much for the IMU device. Clear some variable buffer, AY, acceleration, gyroscope data, and magnetometer data going to be coming out from the IMU device. Now I'm going to be using serial two. Yeah, I'm using a 110A uh, and also serial three because all my and the mixo is on it. So I also demand the mixo on serial three, clear some data here. In the setup, <clears throat> the key thing here is I'm using serial two at 57.600 kilohertz uh, baud rate. And that essentially corresponds to this COM10. I begin my older device, that's for the IR sensor, begin wire. And then we have a few, uh, just uh, print out a few things from serial USB, which is essentially COM3. Yeah, a bunch of setting on the IMU that is already made by in the example code. So I'm not doing anything like that. Get tested, delay. Here I'm beginning to access my servo at one megabit per second <clears throat> and setting up my. Uh, 5678 ID, wheel mode, join mode, uh, 1234, and going to only very small speed on the gripper servo, 255 only. And then that tell to go to essentially a ready position. Uh, ready to grab the joy, but not quite ready. And I found out that these little delay here were very important. Without the delay, uh, the packet somehow got lost. So I could not get all four servo one to four to close in the proper position. Sometimes one move, sometimes two moves, sometimes three moves, but rarely I get all four moves. And this little delay like this will practically 10 milliseconds <clears throat> will do the job. Uh, so, and then um, when they close in, they just stop uh, five, six, seven, eight, just to make sure they are zero speed. And then we go into the loop. So the loop, every time going through, read up 
from the IS Center, saving that it printed out on the uh, uh, serial USB, delay a little bit. And the key logic is here, if this eye sensor is less than 200, that means it doesn't detect any choice. And what it does, it just stops the uh, servo five through, uh, five through eight here. Else, if we need to detect the, the choice, and I'm gonna adjust my hand in this example. You see that what it does, it uh, run the servo, so that uh, the whole choice going this way when it's in actually really running. It hold into the position 512, which essentially hang on to the choice that you can imagine there's an IBM running through this way. So it's gonna grab on it. And then the code is to read in the accelerometer and the gyro. Pick it up, save AX, IYZ, GX, GY, GC. I don't use a McDonald's so anything. And then I print out some from the serial USB to see the data. I also use serial two to print out the same value essentially. And then it just blink. So that's essentially it. So I have, I'm gonna show you two serial monitor, one on COM3 first. That's the one coming through the micro USB uh, uh, port here. COM10 will be coming through the ZIG 110A uh, and ZIG 100 USB dynamic so to the PC combination. Okay, so the code is already loaded and be ready there. I'm gonna uh, reset. So the program running there, I turn the power on so all the server get uh, power. It will go into its ready position. Okay. <clears throat> so this gives time for the human user to kind of grab it and move it up to the joist essentially. So you can imagine the joist finally get in here. At that time, the IR sensor will sense the wooden joist beam. So I'm gonna use my hand. First time around, I close it. It closed into that position and you see also that the wheel start to turning. So it's traveling down the joist. At that time, it will also recording the acceleration and gyroscope data. So you can see it vary up here. Okay, so this somehow it ran to the end of the choice. Therefore, the uh, near infrared sensor didn't send anything anymore. Boom! It stopped recording the data. It stopped collecting data, and then it just showed the IR value. So you have approach again. So you start collecting data and sending out the data. So this one is coming through the uh, USB uh, micro port here. So interesting enough, you switch to the COM10. Which is the data coming through the serial port here and the Zigbee. I mean the USB2 Dynamixo and the, the Zig110A here. And it showed nothing because of the way it's programmed is until it sees the joy, it will do, and then it show the data here. You can see. Okay, so the data is working. I remove a hand, I essentially simulating it, didn't see the choice anymore. The data stopped being sent away. Okay, so essentially that kind of the code. To show you that I'm using serial, serial three. To talk to the uh, Dynamixo uh, AX uh, 18A here, and I also use serial two through the Zig 110A going through here to display them. Also using the uh, all near infrared sensor. 